Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's dive into the topic. Which protocol is commonly used for email transmission? Answer B. SMTP. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It is used to send emails between servers. Works on port 25 or 587 with encryption. What is the purpose of hashing in security? Answer B. Ensure data integrity. Hashing generates a fixed length value from input. Detects data tampering by comparing hashes. Common algorithms, SHA-256, SHA-512. Which of the following is an example of a strong password? Answer, CP at SSW0RD. Strong passwords use uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols. Avoid dictionary words and predictable patterns. Length of 12 plus characters is recommended. Which type of malware disguises itself as legitimate software? Answer B. Trojan. Trojans appear harmless but contain malicious code. They do not self replicate like viruses, often used to create backdoors for attackers. Which device separates different network segments? Answer, B, router. Routers connect multiple networks. Operate at layer 3, network, of OSI model. Also provide routing and security functions. What is the default port for SSH? Answer, C, 22. SSH uses port 22 by default. Provides secure remote login and file transfer. Encrypts data to prevent sniffing. Which type of firewall inspects traffic up to layer 7? Answer, C, application. Application firewalls analyze traffic at layer 7. Can filter based on specific applications. Example, web application firewalls, WAF. Which vulnerability allows an attacker to execute code remotely? Answer, A, buffer overflow. Buffer overflow occurs when memory is overwritten. Attackers can inject malicious code. Prevented by bounds checking and safe coding. What is the primary purpose of a digital certificate? Answer, B, authenticate identity. Certificates verify the identity of entities. Issued by certificate authorities, CAs. Used in SSL slash TLS for secure communication. Which term describes disguising one IP address as another? Answer, B, spoofing. Spoofing fakes IP or MAC addresses. Used in MITM and DOS attacks. Prevented by packet filtering and authentication. Which security concept ensures that users cannot deny their actions? Answer, C, non-repudiation. Non-repudiation provides proof of actions. Implemented via digital signatures. Prevents denial of performed transactions. Which tool is used for vulnerability assessment? Answer, B, Nessus. Nessus scans for system vulnerabilities. Identifies misconfigurations in CVEs. Commonly used in security audits. Which type of backup captures only the changes since the last backup? Answer, B, incremental. Incremental backups save storage space. Only new or changed files are backed up. 
requires the last full backup to restore. What does the term sandboxing mean in security? Answer, B, isolating applications. Sandboxing runs apps in an isolated environment. Prevents malware from affecting the system. Used for analyzing suspicious programs, which security attack aims to guess all possible password combinations? Answer, C, Brute Force. Brute Force tries every possible password. Time-consuming but guaranteed to work. Prevented by account lockout and MFA. Which algorithm is used for message integrity in IPsec? Answer, D, SHL. SHA ensures integrity in IPsec. SHO1 and SHA2 families are common. Protects against data modification. Which component stores symmetric encryption keys in a secure manner? Answer, A, TPM. TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module. Stores cryptographic keys securely. Commonly used for disk encryption like BitLocker. What is the main purpose of an access control list, ACL? Answer, C, permit or deny traffic. ACL filters traffic based on IP, port, protocol. Implemented on routers and firewalls. Used to control network access. Which malware records user keystrokes? Answer, B, Keylogger. Keyloggers capture typed input. Used to steal credentials and sensitive info. Prevented by anti-malware and MFA. What is the purpose of a honeypot in security? Answer, B, detect intruders. Honeypots attract attackers to fake systems. Helps monitor and analyze attack methods. Provides early warning for real systems. Which protocol is commonly used for secure remote login? Answer, B, SSH. SSH provides encrypted remote access. Replaces Telnet which is unencrypted. Uses public key authentication for security. Which method is used to ensure message confidentiality? Answer, B, encryption. Encryption converts plain text to ciphertext. Protects data from unauthorized access. AES and RSA are common encryption methods. Which port is used by DNS? Answer, C, 53. DNS operates on port 53. Translates domain names to IP addresses. Supports TCP and UDP protocols. What does principle of least privilege mean? Answer, B, giving minimum necessary rights. Users get only permissions they need. Reduces risk of misuse and attacks. Common in role-based access control. Which type of attack uses pre-computed hash values to crack passwords? Answer, B, Rainbow Table. Rainbow Tables store pre-computed hashes. Speeds up password cracking. Mitigated by salting passwords. Which protocol secures web traffic? Answer, B, HTTPS. HTTPS uses SSL slash TLS for encryption. Protects data between browser and server. Default port is 443. Which system uses biometric authentication? 
Answer, C, fingerprint scanner. Biometrics include fingerprints, iris, face. Provides unique and strong authentication. Often combined with MFA for security. Which term refers to disguising malicious code inside normal files? Answer, B, steganography. Steganography hides data inside other files. Common in images, audio, or video. Hard to detect without specialized tools. What is the main advantage of asymmetric encryption? Answer, B, key distribution security. Asymmetric encryption uses two keys, public and private. Solves the key distribution problem. Common algorithms, RSA, ECC. Which attack tricks users into clicking malicious links via email? Answer, A, phishing. Phishing uses fake emails or websites. Goal is to steal credentials or sensitive data. Prevented by user awareness and email filters. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos.